Hello everybody, and welcome back to SnowRunner. So, today I'm going to do something a little different than what we've been doing in the previous episodes. Um, I'm going to, should we say, cut out some of the less interesting scenes. So when I'm just driving to and from areas where it's not as interesting, I will be removing those little bits. Just so that we can progress a bit further in the game. Like I've said before on the channel, I do want to keep videos to around 30 to 45 minutes at the most. Um, so I am going to be cutting those bits out, but I do want to get as progressed as far as possible. So, we will make a start. So, my plan for today is to get some of these tasks that are on here. Get them out. Uh, get some of these tasks done today. So the first one I'm thinking of doing is the downed power lines, wherever it is, can't see it. Fallen power line, that's the one. Uh, get that one done first, then that gets, gets this road open. And then I would also like to... where is it? There was another one here somewhere. Not too sure, we'll find it. Um, but I'm just thinking if we can get a few of the others done. Maybe King of the Hill. Uh, we've got Motel Walls there. They want the Curtain Cider trailer, which is up there, but we'd have to scout that out first. Missing Oil Tanker. And the Fuel Carrier trailer is over there. So we would probably be able to do that one, that's actually not too bad. Might be able to do that one as well. But I do want to get some progression done and get through it. So first off we're going to start off with the downed power lines. Where is it? I've lost it again, fallen power lines. So we need to get one metal beams and two concrete blocks first. So we'll get the metal beams first from the merchants in the town where we currently are. So we're going to go and get them first. While we're here. We'll just back into here and get them loaded up. We need one metal beam. Right, that's that done. And let's get that over to the power lines. actually been, I want to say, two, three days now since I last played this, and in all fairness I've really missed playing it, uh, I really did, I really have been wanting to play it, where are we going, are we going in the right direction again, where are we facing, yeah, we're going the right way, I have really been wanting to play it, but uh just not had the time to do the recording for it unfortunately but we're doing it now we're finally getting to play so we'll get these over to the power line and get that done right so we're pretty much at oh caused some damage there we're pretty much at the power lines now nothing too much interest in there just Driving down the tarmac. We'll get this dropped off and hopefully we can get this road open, which will be fantastic. It'll just make it a lot easier to get around. Well, let's get that accepted. Start tracking it. Close. So let's get that unloaded and close that. Right, so that's the first bit done. So we now need two concrete blocks which have got to come from the warehouse over there. So where are we? We're here, so we're going to have to come back this way. Why does it never press when I want it to do it? So we're going to come back this way, go over here. Have to go all the way around. 
take this little shortcut across here like we did last time. Pull that. Yep. And then into the warehouse there. Good stuff. Right, let's make his way over there. Get turned round. Sorry, signpost, but you're in the way. Okay, so we're at our garage now. Got the uninteresting part of the journey out of the way, and now we're about to make the descent up to where the warehouse is on that horrible, muddy road. Hopefully, we can make it through. And it's not too ripped up from the last few times we've been through yet. Because it was incredibly boggy last time we come through. Because we've been ripping it up. So I'm not sure if the game memorises what you've done once you've turned the game off and then turned it back on again. I'm not 100% sure on that one. Ooh, still a bit buggy. Bit is just a horrendous bit of road. It really is. I think they went a bit overkill on this bit. But hopefully we will get an upgrade to this truck very soon. Really do with some all terrain tower uh, all terrain tires or some off-road tires or something along the lines. Ooh, are we gonna do it? Are we gonna make it? I think we're through. The next bit through there, I think it is, isn't it? Uh, yeah, the next bit's through there. Going this way now. Up this steep incline. I'm sure the truck will make it. Been through worse. Let's try and avoid them boulders. Yeah, did a good job of that, didn't I? Avoiding them. Not. <laughs> oh, so many rocks. Why is there so many rocks? Millions of rocks. You could just all go away and leave me alone. Oh no, we stuck. Right, let's back up. I think I'm stuck on the on that bit of rock there. If we can do it this time, yep. Yeah, there we go. We pushed it. We pushed it through. Push on up again. That's it. And I think we're home free. That little shortcut's much better than going all the way around. So uh, the rest of the road going all the way around is just it's too marshy for the way our truck is at the moment. It's just not uh, got the right equipment on it to make it work. Not efficiently anyway. I'm hoping when we rank up we will open some stuff. We'll go and have a look later on in the episode. Once we've ranked up, see if we've opened anything. Tarmac! Hooray! And we are at the uh, factory. <laughs> I couldn't think of the word then. Right, let's pick some concrete blocks up. 
Is it bricks or comp concrete blocks? Uh, better check, haven't we? Can't remember. Uh, Fallen power lines. Concrete blocks we want, don't we? Yeah, that's the one. Right, so cargo management. And we want two concrete blocks. Look at that. They are super heavy. Right, let's get back and get it unloaded. Shouldn't take too long to get these little jobs done. It'll be nice and straightforward. I do think we're going to have to scout out over towards Smithfield Dam at some point soon so that we can start working on the missions that are over there. There's quite a few missions over at Smithfield Dam. So I do think that is something we're going to have to look at very soon. Potentially in the next episode. Saying that we might make the next episode a scouting episode and we'll just go around and unlock the map. That is potentially what the next one might be. We'll see. Oh, these blocks are so heavy. Really ripping up the road because of how heavy it is. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. My little beauty. My beautiful little truck. I love this truck. I really do. But I'm sure at some point it will probably get replaced by something that is better. Unfortunately. Unless we can make it work all the way through. But we'll have to see on that one. Depends on uh, the upgrades that come through with it. Right, let's get through this. Oh! What's going on here? Stuck on something. Try that again. There was an invisible wall there, it wouldn't let us through. <laughs> that was weird. Never had uh, that happen to me before. Go on. You can do it. You can make it. You can do it. Come on. Nearly out. And we've made it, and we're back at our garage. Wonderful. Get through this last little buggy bit here. And we're home free, pretty much. Oh, we had a freeze up. I don't know what's been going on recently. I, do, I keep getting these little uh, freeze ups, and I don't know why. Kind of annoying. But we're on time at now. Okay, so we're near enough at the power lines now, so we'll get these concrete blocks dropped off. And then this road should be open for us then. That'll just uh, make life that so much easier. Just make things all that little bit much better. And we're here. And that is that done. Whoop! Brilliant. So that's another 1500 in the bank and another 200 experience. So, 
off we've got missing machinery that's all the way up there we need to do that uh, we need to scout that what's that there's a place on the spruces uh, that's going to need a scout truck. Well, you do that one in the scouting video, I think. Mountain bridge. But we need to do the mountain bridge. That's... Oh, I always twist it like that and I don't know why. Right, so we need to do the mountain bridge. What do we need for that? We need one metal beams and two concrete blocks again. But we can come through this way this time to get the concrete blocks. If we go and get the metal beams, we can get this dropped off. And then, once we've got that dropped off, we can go over there. Can we come through here? Yeah, there's a mountain pass there. We can then come through here and get the concrete blocks. That should be quite simple. So, let's do that one next. So, we'll head up, we'll get the metal beams, and we'll be good to go. Get turned round. I don't care about the little blockade signs. Just get in the way. I'm doing a service for the community. They can pay for new road signs. <laughs> really not bothered about them. Right, let's go get the uh, the metal beams. Okay, so we've been to the town and picked up the metal beams. I did fill us up with. Oh, going off the road here. <clears throat> Getting a bit giddy. Uh, I've been and picked the metal beams up from the town. Uh, I did pick some fuel up as well on the way back because we was running a bit low, we were down to 60 litres. And we've just come past where we just fixed the power lines. And we're heading over now to the mountain bridge to get that put back up. Ooh, is it buddy? Is it buggy? Or is it okay? Looks alright to be fair. Doesn't look too bad on here. Sorry, got a bit of a uh, sore throat today. Yeah, that nearly every every time I make a recording. So, where do we need to be now? So, we are here. So we've just got to come down here, and then we're at the bridge. Just keep following the road. Back on tarmac. Just coming past the fuel station. The one that we found last time we were out. Some of these uh, bends are a little bit sharp. And here comes the mucky bit. We'll have rolled up to the bridge. Our fleet start can handle it. I love this truck. I love my fleet star. Like I said in one of the other episodes, I have a feeling that this is going to be one of my favourites all the way through. I do team I do tend to get like an emotional attachment to certain vehicles. I do it in farming sim as well. Alright, let's accept that close and then we're going to cargo management and unload. Well that's a weird cutscene, didn't really show anything. <laughs> didn't even show it. Okay, right so we now need two concrete blocks. Uh, mountain bridge, that's what we're doing. We need two concrete blocks so we need to come across here and down into the Um, factory. We're going to come along here, across the mountain pass. Now, last time I came up here, I came up in my little off-roader, the Chevy. It was not a pleasant drive at all, so we'll hopefully the Fleet Star can make it. We'll soon find out on that one. I'm just hoping it can. Could just do with it being daylight rather than night time. Oops, back to my post. Fingers crossed the fleet star can make it. Let's try. Ooh, we're already struggling. Looks like it is. Or is it just that bit of mud at the beginning there? Could just be the mud. 
we will make it. Well, oversteered. Caused too much damage to the engine then. Come on. Oh, this is uh, a bit rough. The camera does it. If don't get me wrong, I love having the free cam now compared to Mod Runner. But it does get a bit janky at times. Especially when you try and look around when you're uh, driving. It likes to do its own thing, it has a mind of its own. Right. We're up near the tower now, that was a lot easier to get up this side than it was the way I came last time. Still pretty rough. Let's take it nice and slow down here now. And we should be fine. That wasn't too bad on that one. It came a different way last time. I think it came up the back side of the mountain. Um, which was a really, really narrow, tight path. It was horrible to get through with the Chevy. I think I, tip, uh, I actually tipped the Chevy over at one point. It's pretty bad. But I think we've made it through on that one. That's uh, not too bad. Not too bad. Right, so let's go get some more concrete blocks. Ooh. Ooh, that's a bit muddy. A bit of a mucky one. And we made it. We did it! Now let's get these concrete blocks loaded up and get them back. And then that'll be another job. Finished. That bricks what? Concrete blocks. More of them. I've already been and picked up a load already. <laughs> We will get this area back up and running in no time. We're on the road again. And we're going back up that mountain path with massive heavy concrete blocks. <clears throat> right, hold on, let's just quickly put the navigation on. Just want to make sure that we are going the right way and I'm not going to make a stupid turn. Let's just get it over there and then it's just literally down to here and then turn right and so yep that's good. We are on the way. Knowing me I will make a stupid turn and go the wrong way. Get myself stuck or lost. But I think once we rank up, we're going to go back to our garage and we're going to go and see if there is any upgrades we can put on this because we could really do with uh, some tyres. Really need the tyres. Desperate for the tyres. To be honest, I think out of any everything, tyres suspension, engine are your most important upgrades because they're the things that are going to get you through this muck they're going to push you through it you need the power of the engine the height from the suspension so you're not grounding and everything and then just the tyres to literally grip and pull that's what it's all about it's all about friction Friction, clearance, and power. 
And we're stuck in a boulder, and that's exactly what I mean. A bloody boulder there somewhere. Yeah, it's that one there, just in the road. It got me. Pull over a bit and see if we can get through. Nope. Right. <clears throat> Let's get a winch on. Let's get it on that tree there. And we're going to pull ourselves through it. So I mean, we're stuck on something again. Just nothing happening at all. Release the winch. I just don't get what we're stuck on. Something stuck underneath us. Then I don't know what that was. It's just that boulder there. Doesn't help. It's dark. I can't. Uh, see too well. Unfortunately we've ripped the road up a bit here now. So if we have to come through here again it's going to be a bit mucky to get through. And we made it to the top. wrong button then. But, as always, the Fleet Star has performed brilliantly. And have I made the wrong turn? I think I have. Yep, I've come down the wrong way. <laughs> so even with the road markings, I still came the wrong way. But never mind. At least we can still access the job from this side. Bonus, I suppose. Trust me, I'm uh, a bit dopey like that. <laughs> but at least we still made it. Still got there. Right, so cargo management and unload. There we go, we actually got the animation this time. Look at that. Another 1850. Right, so let's remove these markers now because uh, we're just going to get in our way otherwise. Right, so what have we got here? We've got the roadblock over here. What do we need? Service parts. Where do they come from? They come from the warehouse as well. So we might as well get that done. And then that's that roadblock cleared. There. And then that bit open. Oh, there's a upgrade down there. Hmm. We we'll probably need the truck, the little truck for that. Uh, what else have we got? What's this here? Uh, I'd have to find out, wouldn't I? Well, I think we're pretty much cleared now. Most of what's going on down here. So, yeah, we'll do the roadblock. Let's go get the service parts from the warehouse again and then that will be that just give us a straight line where we need to be and then that's that done All right let's head back to the warehouse and get the roadblock undone okay <coughs> so we're at the warehouse now so we can pick those service parts up and it is now daylight so we can see a lot better Let's get those service parts. Uh, how many do we need actually? Do we need just one or two? Roadblock. Need two. Right. Oh no! Bloody Nora. <laughs> Not what I wanted to do. Remove cargo. Yeah, don't want that. <laughs> right. Service parts. Two! That is exactly what we wanted. Not bricks. Don't need bricks. Come on, Fleet Star. Let's go back on the road and get this done. We know you can do it. You've done it many times before. 
good little truck. Let's get you through the muck. Truck that loves muck. Look how she pulls. This is the right way. <laughs> Just making sure. Uh, yep, yeah, it is. Ooh, it's a bit muddy here. Just a little bit mucky. Yeah, man. You can do it. We know you can. <coughs> Everybody has faith in you, Fleet Star. Everybody has faith in you. You are so far the best truck in the game. That's my opinion, anyway. Love my little truck. can't tell. I love my truck. <laughs> Come on. Bush. No, don't get stuck on the stupid rock again. That's it. We know you can do it. Just keep pushing. Keep pushing. That's it. You have done it. Ooh, this has got a bit muddy with us coming through. Got really, really mucky. Keep coming through there. Look at the rock on that. It's flicking everywhere. And we're on the tarmac. Hooray! We made it. Well, made it so far. We don't know what's coming yet. We've not been down here. <laughs> we'll soon find out. Ooh, that looks a bit marshy. Yeah, not too bad. Not too bad around the tarmac areas. Tends to get like a, a little bit muddy on certain little bits, but other than that, oop. Damage the suspension. And unload. Another one done. Another 1650 in the bank. Wonderful. Right. So let's go. What am I doing? So that is that done. So the missing oil tank is there. Go carry a trailer. It's just a trailer. Yeah, it's just a trailer. So we could go and get that, I suppose. Then that's that bit done. It says off road truck recommended, but I reckon we could probably do it with a fleet star. Yeah, let's do it. We're going for it. We're going to go and do the uh, missing truck. So let's get ourselves over here again. And then we're going to go over here and get the missing oil tank. Okay, so we're back down near the factory now. Just getting stuck in a bit of mud. And we're going to head over to the missing trailer. Um, we are running a bit low on fuel, we only have 86 litres left, so I'm hoping, fingers crossed, we have enough to get it, 
get it out and get back with it. But we'll find out. Ooh. That looks rather mucky. So we're going to put this in low. We're going to put diff lock on. And we're going to gently go in and do this. Just hoping that the fuel holds out to get it. I really am hoping it does. Where's the trailer? Ah, see it? It's over there in the distance. This is going to be fun. Hoping the fleet star can do it. I mean, why would you take a fuel trailer all the way over there? That's just ridiculous. Who ever even thought about doing that? Need the red testing. Ugh, oh, this is muddy. And we're stuck already. <laughs> right, so let's catch this to there. And we're gonna pull ourselves up and through. Like so. And then we're gonna release that. And then we're gonna do it again. But we're gonna do it from here. Oh, what's going on here? What's going on here? I want Hmm. What's going on there? I want to attach a winch, but it won't let me. Why is it not doing it? I am very confused at this moment in time. Just not allowing me to uh, look it. One second. Something not quite right there. Put back an automatic a second. Let's try and. Nope, that's not going to work. Put it in that and reverse, maybe. Nope, that's not working either. I think we may have bitten off a bit more than we can chew in today, yeah? Right, got it. So if we pull ourselves to that tree there, then hopefully we can pull ourselves up out of the mud. Come on. I think we got a bit too close to the tree then. That's it, just pull. Pull us. It's off the tree. Get them back off a little bit. See, we're completely stuck on the tree. I don't understand what's going on there. Right, there we go. Let's put it in low. And pull. And it might pull us out of the ditch. That's better. Right, we're on to something now. So, we'll attach this to this, and we're going to pull ourselves through that way now. Right, let's release that, and we'll gently pull ourselves forward by his own propulsion. Oh, we're supposed to go through the water. Ah, that might be why we got stuck. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. We made it so far anyway. We might actually just about get ourselves through this. May. He says as we get stuck again. Doing fantastic here. Doing absolutely fantastic. So there's something there we can attach to. So let's pull on that. Get ourselves out of this predicament. Right. So we managed to get ourselves out of that. Back on what is supposedly the road. Okay. Oh, this is very marshy. 
Who says you need an off-road vehicle? Whoever said that is lying. <laughs> right, is there anything we can... No. There isn't. Okay, let's try and make it forward a bit further on our own. If we can. Even if we can just get a bit closer to that tree. Would help. Come on. Got to be something in this muck that we can grip onto. See if we're in reach now. Could we move a bit further forward? Yes. There we go. Look at that. Just enough to get us forward. Right, so hopefully now we can attach to something else. Pull us ourselves. Nope, nothing. Nothing. Okay. So let's go into reverse and see if we can back ourselves up a bit. Nope. Hmm. Anything over there we can winch to actually. Winch onto there, so that'll pull us backwards, won't it? I get that gets us out of that. Let's go back into Whoa. Oh, I jinxed us when I said you don't need uh, an off road vehicle. I really did jinx us there. There's just nothing to pull on. There's nothing to pull on. Just that one tree. Right, I'll tell you what, we're going to pull on that tree and we're going to pull ourselves as close to it as we can. Let's put it in neutral and then it, the wheel should turn and on their own card. Right, I don't want to get too close because if we get too close... <coughs> Sorry, got a frog in my throat. get too close, we're not going to be able to pull ourselves round... Oh, we still can't pull ourselves around because there's nothing to pull onto. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we're doing wonderful here, guys. We're doing wonderful. Yeah, uh, that's not happening and we're running out of fuel. Right, unfortunately, I think this is a bad effort, guys, unfortunately. I think we have met our match until we get some upgrades on this one. We'll have to try this one later. So unfortunately, I am going to have to recover us to the garage. I'll see you in a second. Okay, so we're back at the garage. Um, let's have a quick look, see if there is any customizations we can get. So... Engine, no, still got the main engine. Gearbox, again, no, nothing. Suspension, stock, still. Tires, anything unlocked? No, still on the standard tires. Winch, no, nothing on the winch. Diff lock, no. Spare wheel, no. Snorkel, we've already got. We've already got the all-wheel drive, and then it's just the normal... Attachments, so still no upgrades for the Fleet Star, but saying that though, in the next episode, we are going to go, so let's just get out of the garage, want to go outside, don't like being stuck in the garage. So in the next episode, we are going to go and do some exploring, uh, try and unlock some of the map so that we're not just sat in the same area all the time because we are progressing now that we've done quite quite a bit today compared to what we have been doing in the last few episodes don't feel like we got very far in the last couple of episodes so we'll go and do some exploring next time Let's turn the engine off Oop. Up engine. right so next time I think what we're gonna do is we're going to go and probably get like these King of the Hill and what have you, get these small ones done 
and then we'll go get these watchtowers and unlock these other areas of the map and then at least it's all unlocked and it's done then and we just have to go and get other stuff so we can pick the upgrades up that we can see already so there's one there just the one yeah just the one so far but we can at least get that one upgrade and then hopefully oh there's another upgrade over here we can go pick them up next episode and hopefully we'll get an upgrade for the fleet star as well so that's it for today guys thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed the video leave a thumbs up if you didn't enjoy the video leave a thumbs down and let me know why uh, just constructive criticism i guess i would like to know why you don't like it um, if you want to see more of this content don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell that's all for now thanks for watching and see you again soon bye for now